Assalamu alaikum welcome to it's time to talk today in this video i am going to introduce you people to a very nice human being she has done amphil applied psychology from bahaudin zakria university multan she is a research scholar and working as a lecturer she is assistant head of department and research in charge at department of psychology institute of southern punjab multan she has research publications and has three monograph books on her credit She has done assessment inventories in all psychological domains like behavioral, cognitive and neuroimaging. She has presented her research work at various international and national academic forums. So let's welcome her for an informal talk on how and from where to start research. So over to you Ms. Sidra Liaquat. Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Assalamu Alaikum. I'm Sidra Liaquat. I'm research scholar, lecturer and I'm a psychologist. I hope all listeners are fine chine and doing a great job. Uh the purpose to make this video is to number one to promote this YouTube channel where you are watching me and second is to share my ideas with psychology students uh who are new in research and uh, those who have to do their research project for their graduate and undergraduate program so what's happen when we are student and we have to research project generally students don't like this what's happen with students because they feel it's a burden they are not motivated they have no interest and some of the time they don't know how to do and what to do when i was student i have like uh, whenever i have i have to do my project i was used to think a lot and a lot i was used to observe a lot but in the end i have nothing nothing to share so and then i have to uh ask my supervisor again and again to guide me and you know a lot of things are here and uh, many times students don't like research because they have very good senior and they have very good resources who will provide and who will share the research please do don't do that it's not a good thing and as student we have always so many excuses so what's happened because we we are not uh, we are doing research but our research is not good or you may say our research is not in the domain we must do or it's not usable so the question every student have in their mind is why our research is not usable or how we can make a usable research so there are many many things to consider but as a beginner as a new student or as an undergraduate or graduate student where you are doing your research for the first time you need a authentic source uh definitely your supervisor is a authentic source but apart from supervisor it's more than a student responsibility to think about their projects and to do a better project so as you all know that uh, in our very uh, start of each research um, subject the first chapter always tell us about how we can do our research useful if you remember in our research books related to psychology especially so the aim of research are described as description prediction explanation and application of data set i'm not going to uh, detail of these phenomena because you you all know very well about all these things i will just go forward my topic or my concern to share my ideas with students that uh, uh, how they can think and from where they can get the idea about their research and their project titles and their project topics so actually we have uh, many resources like uh, there are many resources of knowledge like we have books we have articles 
we have scientific journals and we are used to do a lot of net surfing we have our own observations we have many types of media and definitely the institutes and the research group we are belongs to are the good source of information with this bulk of in information usually we get confused and we don't know what to do as a new student as a undergrad student i i was uh, confused in my student life like what to do so as many student have facing this problem because they there are a lot of material but we we don't know which one is authentic or which or we even don't know a uh, reliable sources and we are not part of uh, professional uh, platforms to to get the latest trends in psychology so whenever you are designing your project uh, for graduates or grad undergraduate programs you must know the trends of your subject especially in psychology because in psychology we are dealing with human beings human beings are changing by every uh, situation by every life events by every happening in social and personal life so it means the things you are studying um, 10 years back maybe is not in, uh, practical in in to the time so what what we do the best thing which i am sharing to you uh, to follow uh, some professional services and psychology academically uh, like uh, american psychological association the content i want to share it's not what i am saying it's what the apa saying because i am not authentic as apa is authentic so it's better to share some content not on uh, like what i personally observe what the professional saying so the trend apa publish in the start of 2020 so they they publish 10 latest trends in psychology uh, for practitioners like practitioners must uh, design their practices according these trends because these are the latest demands and these are the latest uh, need of time and these are again the research uh, areas we should focus as a student and we we must search this so here i have mentioned the website where you can get this uh, magazine uh, or you will you can google all these 10 areas deeply and get a very good idea for your own research but i will summarize here like the first emerging trend of psychology for 2020 is rising our voice on gun violence is is all about social psychology how society how how social attitudes uh, are affecting mental health of society mental health of individual or and how self concept is influencing the voice versa it is very like uh, in depth with suicidal ideation suicide uh, impact or effects of uh, uh, accidents and drugs smoking and all and these are actually all the social issues we are facing in every society every culture in every country these are the global issues as well. so and again a very much emphasis api is giving to the practices and the certification like point to mental health on the world stage uh, like uh, uh, point number 7 answering the demand for services and like the um, uh point number 5 the new faces to the field uh i have observed in pakistan mostly what's happened like when um somebody has done their masters or their diploma even their ma um masters in research and so they the thing they can do now every practice it's it's not happen even ap is saying practice before practice you must done your certification it's okay you have studied in your masters all the therapies but it doesn't mean you can apply all therapies but as a researcher it's a good idea to test the uh, effectiveness of therapy with different situation so like uh, the new faces to the field is all about the 
the certification in the advanced programs like PhD and then the post graduation certification now um, many things are online and all education is going to be pro online so it's a good chance to enhance and get certification with the world renowned institutes and one thing which which is very important is all about uh, creating the innovative ways of sorry providing healthcare with innovating ways uh, definitely this this YouTube channel is one of the innovative way to provide the care and education both and definitely going high tech in academia is required again it is it is very important to have uh, a good good certification and good practices in psychology and uh, people technology friendly interaction is required now after covid things are more digitalized so we need more cyber security and we we need to explore the interaction and effects of technology and uh, uh, psychological aspects and one thing which is i think um, really needed in pakistan the impact of uh, climate change is is really important the impact of climate change is not only uh, related to the environmental and ecological change it's even about the physical environment change and human being psychology and well-being of the human being uh, if we uh, talk about this phenomenon in uh, pakistan generally so people say oh how is that how a building and how a design of a building how the color of your room how the um physical structure you are living in your office in your home can affect so definitely it it affects or within the big scenario of climate change the ecological changes also affect people in living in the warm areas and people living in the some disaster area or people living in some you know, polluted area definitely when there is a you know the red zone people are not in their well being so this these are the areas which are needed to explore yet which are we needed to provide health services and which need require more research and ex, uh, exploration so new students in psychology uh, you you can go and you can explore such areas and you can design a very really good research because now this these are just ideas i am sharing with the very authentic reference so um, with going with all these things definitely your research will be very useful uh, because this will end with some solution of emerging problems as well so these are some details you will find definitely on the website so summing up the whole thing public health epidemics like suicide war mass shooting accidents and drugs uses these are some area we need the um, researcher interactions uh, and then need uh, practitioners interest in this then climate change the environmental change definitely broader and uh, limited exposure with the physical structure the building the design the colors uh, all the physical structure and then environmental ecological changes definitely they are impacting human being in various ways so this this area is also a good good to explore and good to practice as well human technology interaction now after covid this is very needed thing like we we all are on like uh, online we, we all are using online you know uh, channels this this channel is also one of this example so the privacy and the protection of data this is definitely very needed or uh, this this impacting as well there, there is a difference towards face to face interaction um, or the technological or an online interactions as well adaptation of human behavior this what the ap wants to highlight what happened what 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 happened like uh, we we need adaptation in every aspects of our life either we are in clinical in our, we are in social psycho uh, social or we are in personal aspects we need all all time the adaptation of behavior the adjustment so 
the need of time, the need, the, the merging trends is about social and organizational psychology. We didn't sure and the research will definitely give us some adaptation, some good, good strategies to deal with the stress, daily life stress and all this all. Actually, what's happened, like uh, we have many, many things to do, but the best is what you want to do. So, but definitely we need some, uh, you may say the, some type of uh, guidelines as well. So if your supervisor is busy or if he or she is not available for a short time, so APA is the best guide for you because बहुत सारे नॉलेज में से आपने इसको खुद ही अपने लिए अच्छा नॉलेज निकालना सो एक्चुअली द स्काई इज अनलिमिटेड ओनली इफ यू आर रेडी टू फ्लाई सो इनिशिएट टू लर्न बाय योर सेल्फ एंड इनिशिएट टू गेट अ प्रॉपर एंड अ वैलिड नॉलेज सो देन यू कैन गो फॉरवर्ड सो आई वुड लाइक टू से थैंक्स टू दिस यूट्यूब चैनल इट्स टाइम टू टॉक थैंक यू अबीरा यू आर uh providing us a very really good platform to talk and share our ideas maybe someone is not agree with me it's okay no no problem but if someone is agree so you, you should follow uh channel as well and you have to subscribe this and uh, you will get all type of uh, guidelines in your academics and you will get many many ideas to practice this so thank you so much